Hey there gamers, Minus10 here. I'm a middle-aged gamer that enjoys all gear related to gaming, streaming, and content creation. So today's video, I decided to take a look at an older keyboard after reviewing the Logitech G Pro X TKL Lightspeed to really see if gamers have to buy the most recent TKL boards to get the best. The Corsair K70 RGB is a prime example. Launched nearly a year and a half ago, the Corsair K70 RGB TKL is a feature-packed keyboard and it can be purchased on Amazon regularly for under $120 depending on the switches that you, that you want to buy. Now, granted, this is, a, this is a wired keyboard and if you need wireless, obviously you're going to have to look elsewhere. But I decided to take a look at the Corsair K70 RGB TKL after trying the absolutely brand new Logitech G Pro X TKL Lightspeed, that's a mouthful, uh, to see if there are any better TKL options at lower cost point. The, the good news for consumers, gamers, is there are a lot of good options out there and you don't need to pay a very steep premium just to get the latest and greatest features uh, when they were available a year and a half ago. So this keyboard, again, as I mentioned in my intro, is feature packed. Uh, and this, this uh, K70 has the extra title called Champion Series. And this is because it has a tournament switch on the back side of the keyboard that allows gamers to lock in static lighting and deactivate macros when competing in LAN events or other uh, competitive uh, gaming events. Now, I'll be honest with you, I found this a bit gimmicky since most of us gamers are just, we're gaming from home uh, and the Windows lock key is, is more than enough. The Windows lock key on this keyboard is located on the top right uh, and is easily accessible and will save you endlessly when gaming in fast paced first person shooter or battle royale games when, you, when we all accidentally hit that Windows key that launches us out of the game. So that's more than enough. Now, uh, if you've used a number of gaming keyboards over the years, you'll notice that the keycaps on the K70 are PBT double shot, and they feel nice. Clearly, Corsair didn't use the highest quality material for the K70's keycaps, but I'll take these keycaps over ABS any day of the week. It just saves on the grease factor. For the switches, the board I purchased came with MX Reds, which are linear and work very well in game. Both my son and myself gamed on the Corsair K70 RGB TKL for several days and they delivered as promised. These switches are clearly not lubed and when typing directly onto the metal top plate, you, you do get quite a bit of ping, so just want to be aware of that. Now, one of the standout features that Corsair is hyping on this keyboard is the Corsair Axon hyperprocessing technology that supposedly delivers 8,000 hertz hyperpolling. Now, this is an interesting feature, uh, mostly because I don't really want my keyboard eating up system resources. And if you run the keyboard at 8,000 hertz, uh, Corsair even gives you a notice to say, this could impact your system's performance. For me, I really couldn't tell the difference between 8,000 versus 1,000 hertz polling. So I just, I just kept the polling rate at 1,000 hertz. Now, if you're a gamer looking for ultra high speed responses, my recommendation is start looking at some of the magnetic and optical switches that allow gamers to set the actuation point in millimeters. Steel Series and Wooting both have keyboards with these next gen switches. And I suspect most of the main manufacturers will start coming out with keyboards with this technology. Now, the Corsair K70 RGB TKL media keys, they work well, although you do have to push them down pretty far to actuate. I use Apple Music on my PC and the Corsair keyboard worked with this app no problem. For me, I really appreciate multimedia keys as I often listen to music or watch the news while I work during the day job. Granted, my, my gaming headphones are open-backed, so I don't spare my kids too much. Now, if, if there's one standout on this keyboard, it's the K70 scroll wheel. 
It is smooth without any tactile feedback, which I normally don't like when scrolling, but its resistance is just perfect. Adjusting the volume with Corsair scroll wheel is extremely satisfying. The RGB on the keyboard is good and bright enough, but one odd point is the feet flip out towards the side versus the back of the keyboard. This change from what you normally see on other keyboards, that is feet flipping out to the back, causes the K70 to slide around a bit during intense gaming sessions. Now, it's a minor point, but I wanted to make sure this is noted. Lastly, the overall build quality is, is like most mass market keyboards today from the major brands. The Corsair K70 RGB TKL is made mostly of plastic. Now there is a metal top plate, uh, but it does feel like it's made of plastic to keep the overall margins high, which Corsair has every right to make. Although I didn't open up the keyboard, the typing sound leads me to believe that there is really no dampening material built inside the keyboard to help with the ping. The Corsair K70 RGB TKL, it, it's not gonna win any sound or typing experience awards, but if you buy this keyboard, you do need to be aware that it will have a rather loud pingy sound, and if you are sharing a room with others, they may not like that. Unfortunately, IQ falls into the same bucket as basically all the other peripheral manufacturers. IQ is mediocre at best. The reality is only Logitech's G-Hub has cracked the code for gaming peripheral software. IQ is clunky to interact with, and I'm willing to tolerate it for the keyboard as I use IQ for all my other uh, Corsair hardware, mostly cooling, which Corsair absolutely excels at. Like other peripheral makers, if you go Corsair, you you'll just have to acquire the IQ taste. This is where the Corsair K70 RGB TKL excels. At $120, I absolutely recommend this keyboard gamers. This keyboard is jam-packed full of features that a lot of gamers appreciate. Linear mechanical switches, solid RGB lighting, multimedia keys, Windows lock key for gaming, profile switching for games, and so on. Outside of Logitech's Lightspeed 2.4 GHz wireless tech, the Corsair K70 RGB TKL is as good as keyboard as the Logitech G Pro X Lightspeed keyboard that just launched for $200. That's amazing. I'm a Logitech fan, but paying a $70 premium for Lightspeed really isn't worth it. As for Logitech's nearly three-year-old G915 TKL, this low-profile keyboard can regularly be purchased on sale for well below $150, and I think this is the better TKL option if you need wireless. Granted, you have to be able to accept the rattly key switches on the uh, G915. To wrap it all up, nearly a year and a half into its life, the Corsair K70 RGB TKL has aged well, and Corsair delivered a solid, well-rounded product that will still be well-received by many gamers in today's market. At $120, I'm even more supportive of this keyboard, given the laundry list of features it comes with. The volume scroll wheels resistance and feel is a clear standout and a joy to use. The keyboard's RGB is very good, and will we'll brighten any gamer's darkened lair. As long as you're okay with a wired keyboard and a pingy sound, the Corsair K70 RGB TKL is still a very good option in today's hyper-competitive gaming keyboard market. I didn't have any buyer's remorse with the K70, and I enjoyed my time with this keyboard. And so did my son. So if your budget is below the $150 mark, I think this is a great keyboard option for a lot of gamers out in the marketplace. I definitely, definitely recommend it. If you found my impressions of the Corsair K70 RGB TKL helpful for your buying decision, I'd appreciate any likes for the video as this helps out my tiny YouTube channel. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.